Hello, and thanks for tuning in to another episode on Al's Air Guns. Today, I have some exciting information to pass on. A few episodes back, we got in some performance parts to use on Crossman uh, pump-up pneumatic air guns, and I have some data on what those parts did for us. Uh, wanted to report back on the flat-top valve and flat-top piston that we installed in a 2289 and also then the custom bolt, uh, an extended uh, bolt with an extended probe that we also installed in that. Now, when we installed it in the 2289, which I have in front of me right here, it still had its 14 inch barrel on and the uh, TKO suppressor. Uh, we've since switched barrels on these two because we were doing some buildups on the 1377 right here. And also, I wanted to put a 10-inch barrel on the built-up 2289 platform to see just how much velocity I can actually get out of a 10 10 inch barrel. So anyway, I've switched the barrels since we did the testing, but initially when we installed the, well, before we made any changes to the 2289, at 10 pumps, we were seeing 502 feet per second out of a 14.3 grain Crossman Premier pointed pellet. And after we installed the flap top piston and valve at 10 pumps, we were seeing 536 feet per second. So a good increase there just in putting those two parts in, particularly at the 10 pumps. Now their performance improves as you pump higher. At 15 pumps, before any changes, we were getting a velocity of 556 feet per second. After installing the flat top piston, we got 592 feet per second. 18 pumps, we were at 560 feet per second. And after the flat top install, we were at 613 feet per second with that 14 grain pellet. At 20 pumps, we're at 572 before the upgrade. And after the flat top parts were installed, we were at 627. Now we are clearing all air and can go substantially higher with those uh, parts in place. Now, I also evaluated the effect of the custom bolt probe. Um, here is the extended probe that I had made and sent in. It's about an eighth of an inch longer than the um, standard standard probe and pushes it just a little further into the uh, chamber, into the barrel. So at 15 pumps, I don't have a 10 pump number, but at 15 pumps with the flat top parts installed, we were seeing 592 feet per second Dropping the extended bolt into it, or extended probe there, uh, changed that to 599 feet per second. So we did pick up 7 feet per second with um, just installing that bolt. The performance at 18 pumps with the standard bolt was 613 feet per second. And with the extended or custom bolt, we were at 620 feet per second. So still about that seven feet per second. Uh, 20 pumps, we were at 627 feet per second. And with the extended bolt in place, we were at 631 feet per second. So we do see a minor improvement in velocity from the extended bolt. Um, you know, some people have claimed an accuracy uh, increase in, as well. I haven't spent enough time with it to confirm to confirm the accuracy change. But I did want to pass along the... Um, improvements. They were substantial. The installation was very straightforward. And um, yeah, all in all, I'm a big fan of the flat top piston and valve. Uh, also, if you, you know, if you can afford it, if you're doing it for aesthetics or anything along that line, I'd go ahead with the um, extended bolt probe too. Personally, I went to try one of the hollow 
bolt probes next and um, wanted to take another look at another uh, flat top piston that had been recommended to me. So overall, I give it two thumbs up on those, those things that we've tested and um, we'll get you some more results on these builds and, and the results I have um, found as far as getting a higher velocity out of the um, 10 and a half inch barrel. Now the, or 10 inch barrel. Now the one thing I will tell you, that thing gets loud quick. At 650 feet per second, you're blowing a lot of excess air out and, and it's, it's unpleasant. So I do wanna go ahead and um, get some kind of moderator for that too. All right, thanks for tuning in. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. And uh, yeah, y'all be safe, shoot well, and take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.